What's up, LIB? It's your boy, John Bricks. Uh, yo, LIB, what up, man? Just shot a man right here. This is LIB Entertainment Kitchen. We're doing a beat. We just arrived at the Aminata gas station in Kagara City. LIB Entertainment Kitchen. Liberia's number one entertainment show that comes on Sky TV every Saturday, 8 to 9 p.m. at night and repeats every Wednesday, 2 to 3 p.m. in the afternoon. LIB Entertainment Kitchen. It's big, grand, exciting. Bring it to you, your favorite artists, interviews, crepes, comedy, dance, the videos, yeah, your favorite movie stars, producers, and writers, entertainers of all kinds on LIB Entertainment Kitchen. Keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. Hey, 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 everybody, welcome. This is Howlett, welcoming you to this edition of LIB Entertainment Kitchen. As you know, my name is Dara Scottier, and I'm here with someone special. And when I say someone special, you know what I mean. So, you know what? I have a whole lot of things to discuss today. Me and my guests, we are going to rock this place north, south, east, and west. But you know what? Before I do that, I would like to go back a little bit and go for a very short break to be right back. Don't forget, this is LIB Entertainment Kitchen. And the motto is bringing your stars close up to you. This is Infectious Michael. What's up? Hey, yo, what's up, LBR? It's your boy, Drake Drizzy. LIB Entertainment Kitchen, Liberia's number one entertainment show that comes on Sky TV every Saturday, 8 to 9 p.m. at night and repeats every Wednesday, 2 to 3 p.m. in the afternoon. LIB Entertainment Kitchen, it's big, grand, exciting. Bring it to you, your favorite artists, interviews, crepes, comedy, dance, the videos, yeah, your favorite movie stars, producers, and writers, entertainers of all kinds, on LIB Entertainment Kitchen. Keep watching. Hey, 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 welcome back. Welcome back to LIB Entertainment Kitchen. That's Liberia's number one entertainment show. And my name is Darius Scotty. I'm here with you today in studio. Like I told you earlier on my introduction, I have a very great personality with men who are going to talk so many things like personal life and all that stuff, his career, we delve into too many things today in studio and he's here with me and he's no one else but, should I do the introduction? Okay, I will go back a little bit, I think he's in a better position to do that for himself. But do you want to do this? Welcome to LIB Entertainment, Kishi Liberia's number one entertainment show. Jerez, I'm so glad to be here today and I, I'm speechless, you know, your presentation got me so much done. <laughs> really? Alright, okay, for the viewers, I'm, I'm Master Junior TV Russian, I'm so glad to be in the studio with Jerez. I'm Liberia Taekwondo Heavyweight Champion and third in Africa and second in the world of martial arts. Thank you so much for welcoming me and I hope you have a nice time. Okay, 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 okay. I hope, I hope they will. Trust me, if you are out there, definitely you will have a nice time with us here today in Studio Back to You, Russian. So tell me, with all these trophies that are lined up all in our studio, tell me how it all started. Uh, firstly, I, I want to give a very big thanks to the Almighty God. You know, um, my whole life, uh, sometimes I wonder my position in my career and in my country. Mm -hmm. It all started from, I always like to tell people from nowhere. I'm fortunate to be where I am today and special thanks and appreciation goes to my mom. Mm -hmm. Happens to be the only one for me. No father, no family. I want to tell the Almighty God thanks for my mom for being the nine months of pain, mm. taking me through that. And Seeing myself where I appreciate it, 
I don't know what to say or to give thanks to my mom and the Almighty God. They all started from nobody can say. I passed through the rain, I passed through the sun, and I passed through the stormy days. I know what that means. I know what yeah, that to, to reach where I am today, but um, I've been through a whole lot. And if I decide to just talk about where I come from, mm. a lot of people out there would never understand it. To reach your peak in life is not an easy thing. Trust me, someone out there will understand. Trust me. All right, I, I came from nowhere and firstly, I left my mom when I was eight years old. And she passed away when I was 15 years old. Mm. Her dream was to, to achieve a whole lot when it comes to education. She sent me to live with people and with her dream and her hope that my son would go to school and everything. Unfortunately for her, where she sent me, taste didn't work the way she wanted it to be. And I became a slave, serving people. And I have to get at like 3.30 in the morning to fix red spray. And I have to get water ready for my foster brother. I mean, and, and it was so tough for me. And when I, when I lost my mother, that was in 1992, my mother passed away during our revolution. Okay. She got ill in the revolution, no one to take care of her. And she died when I was 15 years old. Like I said, I left her when I was eight years old. She died when I was 15. From there, the woman who I thought could be my next mother, she got fed up with me and she threw me out of her house. I can remember the very first day when she took me out of the house, I slept on Bonas Beach. Mm. And the second, the second night, I slept in the market. And my third night, I came looking for friends to start with. LIB Entertainment Kitchen, Liberia's number one entertainment show. Hey, what's up? My name is Gia Port and I'm a beef up boy. I ain't walking chucky chucky like a fuck up boy. LIB Entertainment Kitchen, Liberia's number one entertainment show. You know, when I, when, when I start to retrospect, you know where I come from, you know, then I, I try to like a, a drop a little bit because... Okay, okay. so, yeah, so after, yeah. after all of that, so yeah. you felt within yourself at that point in town that Taekwondo was going to be something good for you and you think you are going to do it at that time for you. To, I, I really like to know in what year you started doing Taekwondo and I would like to know for how long what inspired you or was you lured into becoming a taekwondo like you are right now? All right, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I, like I said, when I left my mom at the age of eight and moved on the old road, that's VP Road, mm -hmm. and it's old as Congo Town, I met um, some martial artists because whenever I come from, from the market selling red spray and other stuff, and I would meet them practicing, so I decided to just get involved in something that would make me disciplined because I heard that most of the people that came that I ever interacted with from the beginning, mm -hmm. they all talk a whole lot about martial art, how well it's going to make you disciplined and humble to respect all the people. Yeah, that's what and it was. Having I was discipline. eight years old, like I said, when I left my mom, I was eight years old. And then when I came on the old road, I saw my late, uh, one of my late instructors, he was, like, uh, he was called Tama. I said, one day I can remember of him. And he started teaching me, but he didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't know I actually want to teach. He used to follow the Bruce Lee star on the TV, watch Bruce Lee and then come on and say he knew martial right? arts. And then gradually I started to grab one or two things. But fortunately for me, for some people they're gonna say, oh, unfortunate. I say, fortunate for me during the revolution in 1989, when our revolution started, I was taken to Grand Bassa. And then like on Friday, the road closed, 1990 came about. The rebel came and attacked. I was fortunate to you know, meet this guy, a Korean master, who fought you know, a revolution. I was bringing the Korean and the Japanese before. And he took on to me like his son. All right, my foster uh, uh, father. And there where I took his name from Russian. The name I'm using today, Russian as my last name because I don't have a dad. So if I start to improve in the eye of Taekwondo, and then from there, I came in the city of Monrovia. All right, action. 
so I, I joined the Liberal Taekwondo National Team in 1994 when my Korean master left the country due to pressure from the Korean community. Mm -hmm. I mean, because he started to exhibit or teach us some of those techniques that he, he learned from his master, all right? And then all of a sudden, I start to compete, I start to train hard to represent my country. Okay, and okay, Russian. So uh, I would like to go for a break, but before I go for a break, I would like to ask a very important question because people out there don't know the difference between Taekwondo and martial arts. Can you give us the difference? All right, thank you very much. You know, um, I, and when, when everybody referring to martial art, that's the general name for the different form of martial art, the karate, Taekwondo, Judo, Mujutsu, Kickboxing, and you just name it a whole lot of different kind of martial art. Mm. But the general name, you refer to it as martial arts. Mm. Yeah. Now you, you're gonna meet someone who's doing karate, you're gonna meet someone who's doing taekwondo. Now for karate, karate hills from Japan. It's a Japanese form of martial art. Now taekwondo, taekwondo is a Korean form of martial art. Mm. Ushu, that's Shawali Kung Fu. And that's the Chinese oh, form of martial art. Oh, 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 so there's different different kind of martial art. But the general name is martial art. Oh, 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 okay, yeah, I, I like that. that. I like oh, that. that. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, I hope you are out there. You are very excited, and we are going to be having gradually, gradually to meet to the end. But before then, I would like to go for a very short break to be right back with the same face, Master Rush. LIB Entertainment Kitchen, Liberia's number one entertainment show that comes on Sky TV every Saturday, 8 to 9 p.m. at night and repeats every Wednesday, 2 to 3 p.m. in the afternoon. LIB Entertainment Kitchen, it's big, grand, exciting. Bring it to you, your favorite artists, interviews, crits, comedy, dance, the videos, yeah, your favorite movie stars, producers, and writers, entertainers of all kinds on LIB Entertainment Kitchen. Keep watching. Keep watching. Inside here. If he loses, he's gone. You get it? So all you need to do, look in his face. Now, assume you cannot move your straight. I'm watching him like this. Watch this face. Why? You gotta look at for this stick to knock me, the hand gotta go up and it comes down. So in the process, go. Cha! So why the step for you? I'm gonna to, to reduce the speed of the step right here. Now, after I use my front foot and kick in, what? The next thing, my back foot, pop. The next thing, tap it here and pull him down. The step is of no use. You get it, guys? One, two, one. Skip two. Hit the chain one. Then you hit right here. <laughs> Two. Next thing you do, set inside. There. LIB Entertainment Kitchen, Liberia's number one entertainment show that comes on Sky TV every Saturday, 8 to 9 p.m. at night and repeats every Wednesday, 2 to 3 p.m. in the afternoon. LIB Entertainment Kitchen, it's big, grand, exciting. Bring it to you, your favorite artists, interviews, crits, comedy, dance, the videos, yeah, your favorite movie stars, producers, 
and writers, entertainers of all kinds on LIB Entertainment Kitchen. Keep watching. Okay, okay, that was so, so exciting, so exciting. You saw it, I don't need to tell you. You saw it for yourself on the stream. That's master Russian. So, go back to you, Russian. Tell me, after seeing all of that on the stream, how? Tell me. Uh, I mean, like, look okay, so you saw on the screen. I, I it all started uh, 2007 when I qualified my country for the Olympic game. 2008, Beijing, and I was told by the then minister, the former defense court minister, that's Edmundo David Tappe, and other government officials like George Mabe Moki, Mabel Breche, the Minister Brandon Samukai, and the Maritime Boss BN Kessari, and the Olympic President Philip Bra, and all of the people who have been there for me. They told me, Russian, uh, we know you got more to achieve, but you, you need to establish a element where you're going to give back to the country, the society, what you have learned or achieved. And then I, I, I didn't it necessary to go back and open an academy. But well, we saw, we saw, we saw kids. I mean, small children, children, very little. We I like, saw them. I like that when you say. Yes, small children, very little. So, uh, how? What's their input? Tell me, what can they do? You know, you know, and the little children, the little children, they speak a whole lot to me, and, and, and they give me so, so much focus. I love being with children, and 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 and. and most of the time, I always ask myself this question: Why am I so moved? Why? Oh, why? Because my childhood right was total. I, I didn't achieve. I didn't experience. And then care, you know, that love from people, you know. But all of a sudden, I, I just get glued to kids. And then sometimes I say, Hey, Russian. It's maybe, what maybe, you have maybe, learned. One was saying that they had to change to change the whole case. To a new one. Uh, yeah, so it, it, it's not an easy thing. Sometimes I really ask myself the question, you know. But I love the what you try. And, 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 and what, what brings joy to my heart is telling the little kids move your left. And sometimes they go about teaching me. When I tell them move your right, and they say, Master Russian, I'm tired. I, I, I want to sit. Can you dance with me? Do something that I miss a whole lot because my mom didn't have a chance and, 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 and no one was there to give it to me so I feel so proud so, giving back to my kids So in your and, Taekwondo academy, yeah. how many years can you accept like two years, three years in training and to what level can they stop uh, uh, Taekwondo as a whole how many years the person can really be before they stop doing Taekwondo? Like, I, 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 there is no age limit, alright? Okay. Like, my youngest student right now in my class is like three years old. Mm. He's talking well, and he, he always gives me a tough time. And, and, uh, and how is his performance? He's, he's doing great. Like, the first day, the parents, I uh, mean, his parents gonna bring him. Hey, Master Rush, I want my kids to, you know, to learn something for self defense or martial arts. And the first day, they're gonna hit it. So what, what, what do I do as a professional person? And what I do, I go into that personal life and I start to ask them questions about their school, their lesson, what you did in class, mm -hmm. and gradually they're gonna start to adapt my system of life and gradually things gonna improve. And another day they're gonna to respond to my way of teaching and they're gonna start creating a lot. And one thing we need to understand, the kids, they live by us, they learn from us, what we give them, that's why they're gonna have, that's why they're gonna accept, them. That's why they're going to exhibit it up there. So I always watch what I say and what I do, how I go about and know them. But they are my goal, they are my heart, they are my pleasure, and they are my happiness. And those kids you see over there, trust me, they do a whole lot when it comes to self-defense. They just say martial art. Oh, okay. LIB Entertainment Kitchen, Liberia's number one entertainment show. So, can, if you guys are training, if you are training them, can they really inspire you? Uh, like, oh, I see this kid performing like this, he came into my academy and he just came and he couldn't do it. So, I see the performance and inspired, it motivated me to do more for them. Can you really see that way sometimes? Oh, yeah, and, and, and I envy them. I want to be friends with you. 
envy them so much because when I was coming up, I didn't have the opportunity to be talked to. They had to be talked to, you know, most of the time, they're gonna just stick in the corner and look at me and say, hey, lie, they're gonna move. They're gonna be looking at it. <laughs> well, I love it, you know, I love it, trust me. And I like when they really give me a tough time where I have to go and like one, one of the kids died. I mean, I appreciate it so much. He's gonna get in class and say, Master Russian, I learned this dance and he's gonna demand me to dance with me in class. Hmm. And I, I'm gonna just move left, right. And I know I did that. I said, hey, you ready to do what I want you to do? He's gonna, yeah, then you're gonna follow me. I love it. And trust me, if we want to build Liberia, hmm. if we want to see our country to another level, we need to invest in our children. Okay, back, 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 back in studio, back in studio with all this trophy. How many?